Welcome to the Light Home Sustainable Design podcast series. We talk with the architects and builders about green design and homes that really suit the way we love to live. I'm Sarah Bell and today I'm talking to Jeff Milne, a Senior Research Consultant at the Institute for Sustainable Futures about energy efficient lighting choices. So Jeff, uh, the Australian government has recently placed a ban on importing incandescent light bulbs. Why would they do this? Um, What's so bad about incandescent incandescent lighting? Um, Well, incandescent lighting is um, the least efficient form of lighting that we can have. Um, um, It's it's, it's been around a long time. It's a very old technology and it's it's, uh, obviously served us well for for, um, nearly 200 years, but um, it's now... um, Got to the point where it's really um, it, it it really is uh, a big uh, energy consumer in our homes, and um, I, I include in, in incandescent lighting, by the way, um, halogen bulbs as well, because often people just talk about incandescent bulbs as the old-fashioned um, bulbs that we all used to put in our lamps. Um, halogen lamps are also incandescent lamps, and so really um, are not are not particularly efficient either, and so um, we, sh- we really should be getting away from. Um, Old, old, old style incandescent lamps and halogen lamps and moving over towards uh, the more efficient types of compact fluorescence and LED lighting that are coming onto the market now, especially for the residential sector. Sure. All right. So um, what ne- negative impacts uh, like, do these incandescent bulbs have, say, on the environment or on general electricity costs? Well, light over the last few years increased a lot as the percentage of um, overall household electricity use. Um, and a lot of that is actually down to the sort of fashion in recent years for having halogen down lighting. Um, so whereas in the old days um, you might have had a room that was lit by maybe a couple of 60 watt or a couple of 75 watt bulbs, um, you'll now find that same room being lit by 10 or 12 or even more um, 50 watt halogen lamps, and in, and in fact each each of those 50 watt halogen lamps is really a 60 watt lamp because they all have a transformer which also uses about 10 watts. So, you know, you could have um, you know 600 watts of lighting now doing the job that you used to have, you know, like 100 or maybe uh, a, a bit over 100 watts um, doing in a, in in a room. And so, um, if you're using your lighting for for four hours a day, that's a, that's that's a big difference in um, both the energy consumption and therefore the obviously the greenhouse gases due to um, due to the uh, use of coal-fired electricity that sort of dominates um, electric electricity production in most parts of Australia, um, and also adding a lot to um, to people's electricity bills. And um, as we all know um, from all the publicity that's been in the in the newspapers and the media lately, um, electricity bills are going up uh, very quickly, and they're going to be going up um, quite a lot over the next few years. So anything that people can do to reduce their uh, their lighting use and that that sort of rising amount of energy is um, is going to be good for their for their pockets and good for the environment as well. Sure. All right. So um, I think you mentioned uh, fluorescent lighting and uh, maybe LEDs before. Or, uh, I, yep. I'm not, I've come across them as uh, some of the best types of lighting to switch to. Uh, why is this? Uh, what makes them more energy efficient and why are they a better choice? Um, well, because they, I mean, the ordinary incandescent bulbs. Um, I mean, all they're basically doing is heating a piece of metal up to up to white heat, and then it and then it um, it gives off a little bit of light and, and an awful lot of heat. Um, whereas the um, the compact fluorescents um, and um, LEDs rely on um, basically on chemical processes. In, uh, in in the case of compact fluorescents, it's the it's the, it, it's the fluorescence of a the lining inside a glass tube that actually um, lights up and gives off light. In the case of the LED, it's um, the um, uh, just the, the solid state electronics to give it off, and um, so al- although they require a small amount of heat to make them operate, um, they only require um, less than a quarter um, uh, the, of, of the of the amount of, of, of energy to, to give off an equivalent amount of light to um, to, to an income. You can cut your you know, your 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 energy use um, by a, a quarter or or um, in the case of LEDs, potentially um, a whole lot more, provided uh, and, and, and LEDs have huge potential to cut it. But that's that's, that's they're, they're a bit of a mixed story at the moment. But they do have huge potential to cut um, energy use in residential lighting. All right. So, um, what savings do you think, uh, say, if uh, just a household made the switch from incandescent bulbs to 
say CFLs or LEDs are, what, what savings are kind of in their electricity bill or just um, for the environment, like how much better would these options be? House in house, because of course it, it, it depends on how much, I mean you can do it on a, on a sort of per bulb basis um, or you know replacing X number of bulbs with, a, with, with, with complex fluorescence or LEDs, but it's, it's, um, it's, it's, a, bit, it's, it's a bit hard to quantify for, a, for a, um, you know, like a, a sort of a, a particular house because it depends very much on what sort of lighting people have got and what sort of um, yeah, and how much they use it, and 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 all sorts of issues. So we tend, to, I mean, I mean, at, well, at, at at the moment, lighting is is is, is creeping up to about eight um, percent of the of a typical household's um, energy bill, and the average household uses about seven thousand kilowatt hours of electricity a year. So um, you're talking um, about um, eight percent of that is about um, six, seven, eight hundred, um, eight hundred kilowatt hours a year. So you're you're looking at the moment two hundred dollars um, at, at at around twenty cents a, um, about one hundred and sixty dollars at, at roughly at, at, at that twenty cents a kilowatt hour at the moment. So um, if people could could convert all the, all the their lighting over, they could, or a lot of their lighting over, they could, they could save, um, you know, well over a hundred dollars a year. Um, but many houses could save a lot more than that, because as I say, um, a house that's got lots and lots of halogen bulbs, um, it's, it's, it, because, because that, 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 like that figure of eight percent is, is very much an average. But for a house that's got a lot of halogen, halogen bulbs, then uh, the, the lighting could be a much bigger percentage of their of, of their um, household use, so you know they could save hundreds of dollars a year by replacing, for instance, um, just just replacing halogen down lights with with a more efficient version. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, um, it's 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 very variable and 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 quite hard to sort of um, um, pin down and say you know in you know a household will save X amount because as I say it, it does really depend very much on the, the type of lighting the individual household has got. But you're cer you're certainly talking about um, over a hundred dollars a year, and in some cases many hundreds of dollars a year um, on, on on lighting costs. Okay, well, I think uh, there's a lot of information that you've given us about why we need to make the switch to more efficient types of lighting. So uh, thank you for speaking to us today. Mm -hmm.